guys, welcome back. Two weeks in a row and new hair. Who is this? <laughs> we are doing the unboxing video today and there is so much good stuff. So much good stuff. I, this was a good, a good haul. I did, I did. I got stuff from Luna Beauty, Celtex Nails and Function of X. Some of the best places. So if you want to see all that, keep watching. I'm going to show you everything I got. I'm going to swatch some stuff. We're going to have some fun. So grab yourself a blanket, a pillow, some snacks, a drink, because it's a long one, as per usual, because I don't shut up. So I'm sorry. Not sorry. I hope you like long videos. I do. I'm going to stop talking. So if you want to see, keep watching. Like comment, subscribe. You guys have been commenting and you guys are the nicest people ever. So I love talking to you. So keep commenting, keep watching, subscribe. We'll have fun. All right, guys. Keep watching. just sit on the floor and do an unboxing of all this stuff that I've had for like a few days and I've been waiting to open it so I can open it on camera and I'm so excited. I got, so Function of Vex and South Tex Nails did April Fool's Day sales and they're pretty good. I think Function of Vex did like 50% off for the first so many people, then 40, then 30. I got 30 because I didn't remember until like 7.30 in the morning my fault. So I got a bunch of stuff from them. And then I got stuff, like I said, from South Tex Nails. And then the big boy, Luna Beauty. So they're like one of my favorites. They have all the good Korean nail supply that we all know and love. So I got a huge gift to myself for moving into this studio. You know, can I afford it? No. Did I do it? Yes, I did. I need things to look forward to, you know? And I figured I'll use it, of course. So I wanted to open it because I have some nail ideas that I want to make and I might want to use some of this stuff. So let's get them open. I'm excited. Let's do the smaller ones first. So Celtex Nails. I gotta be careful and not show my address. I only got a few things from her. I got a, oh, there's a little sticker. She always sends cute stickers. I think she makes them. Or wait, the sticker's on this side. That's cute. She's got like a little, the little paper part of the sticker is even cute. Okay, so I got a re-up of her glue. It's a 3D, I think it's actually non-wipe. It's a squeezy tube of glue. <laughs> Duh. Um, but it's, like I said, it's non-wipe and it's really good. I don't really use it even for glue. I don't even know if I've tried it for charms. I hear it's really, really good, but I have other stuff that I just always use. So this I use for 3D swirlies and stuff like that, you know? So I got more of that because it was on sale, so why not? And then I got, I haven't tried her. I didn't need this whatsoever. We all know, I think by now, if you've watched my videos that I've got lots of 3D clays and such, but I wanted to try it. And the container, her packaging, I think is so cute. I love the green top and the packaging is pink. So this is her, it's a milky white. If it's sealed, I don't know if I'll open it yet. I'll show you guys. I'll open everything and then I'll show you guys like what it looks like. But I think it's like a, instead of like a completely opaque white clay, I think it's like a milkier, not totally opaque, if that makes sense, you know? So I got that. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. And then she just released these new chrome palettes and they're so cute. If you see me looking like right here, I have my iPad right here that I'm using as a monitor so I can make sure that I'm like in the frame. So if you see me looking off to the side, 
and that's wide, but maybe I should get a little bit closer. These, they're so cute, little chrome palettes. I think these are, I think she only released these two, so I got both of them. So this, it's like blue, yeah, blue, silver, pink, and another kind of pink, or purple and pink, I guess. And then this one, it's got golds in it. So cute, they're tiny, so adorable. Okay, Function Avex. So I really only got one product, but I got a ton of it. So I got, well, I guess technically I got two things. I got a ton of their fine print gels. They are like em embossing gels. I guess is what you call them. They're like really, so if you take like say a fine brush and use them on your nail, they're 3D. So you can like use chrome on them, leave them as is. They're so cool. And I only had the black and white one so far. So I got, I got a bunch. They were on sale, okay? So I got like a bright green, a pink, a mint, and then it looks more like a corally like color. I got those. And then I got, they have more even, okay? I didn't get all of them. I got orange, purple, like a light medium purple, a really light orange, and then like a medium blue. I don't think it's like a bright blue, but like I said, I'll show you guys more of what these look like after we open everything. But, and then I got a turquoise and looks like, like a yellowy light green. They're really, really cool. I am so excited to have all of these colors. And then last thing I got from them, oh, sticker. Last thing I got from them is their puff pigment brush. So this is for, they make those pigment palettes and that's what I was gonna get another one of those in like the mint color story, but it was sold out. So I have to wait and it's not gonna be on sale anymore, but they're, this pigment brush is like <laughs> a skinny, longer pigment brush. <laughs> so it'll be good for more like dense pigment work. So I'm excited for that. <sighs> they might be kind of hard to get back in this camp. Yeah, I love all of these brands that I ordered from. Love them so much. All the owners to these brands are all so nice. Highly recommend ordering from them. I've never had any issues. I've talked to like all of them a million times. Actually, uh, I just sent the owners of Function of Vex. They ordered a single shaker star. Come on. My brain, a single shaker star nail stand. Goodness. <laughs> they ordered one for me and it's so cute. So, so cute. Okay, let's open up this big baby. So this is from Luna Beauty Supply. They sell all Korean nail products, which is my favorite thing of life. Holy smokes. So they had, they also had a sale, an Easter sale. This is like wild. I don't want everything to fall. I got so much stuff. Okay. So let's begin with. These, I've been, ooh, they're nice and heavy. I have been eyeing these for so long and they're so cool. So these are, Summer Peach is the brand and it's called their Handy Chart, Color Chart Case with Nail Tips. So it is a little like, let me take it out. I ordered four of them, like I said. So they are a really cute way to display your nail swatches. And of course I already have all of my gel polish swatched on swatch sticks, but these are really cute. <laughs> I have a problem, okay? <laughs> but I figured for, this would be a good little gift for myself for my nail studio because how cute, oh my God, they're, 
It's so cute. Okay, so it comes with little, they're just little nails, little blank nails. So you take them and you obviously paint those. And this is, this is what it looks like. It has a little pink like rubber band around it. And obviously you can like, they had theirs like all decorated with stickers. I didn't know if it was gonna come with stickers. It doesn't, so I'll have to use my own. But you just undo this. And then these slide out. So you'll put all your, you'll clip the nails into these. And I think each one holds 50. So when people, you can just hand them one of these and they just fold out. It's so cool. I just think they're so, so cute. It also has this added little thing of Swarovski crystal sizes on them. I don't know how much I would use that, but you can like obviously put those on top of the nails and see the size of the crystals. But the main thing I got it for was, I just think I love organization and this is like perfection in my eyes. So I got four of them. I have more than 200 gel polishes, so I think I'll use these for like, I don't know. I have like the whole candy coat line from when I first started doing nails. That's what I ordered. And because that's like what Sean Legend was talking about all the time. And so I think I'll probably use these mainly for like all my Korean polishes, things like that. So cute i'm so glad i got these okay <laughs> moving along i got this cute little sticky palette so they're just like clear little let's just open it it is what it says it is it is i think they're just clear little sheets that you can use as palettes and but it, they're sticky pads like a post-it note so you can like peel it off and stick it to your desk I'm just, you know, I need everything to be so cute. So that's why I got that. <laughs> I also got, what is this? A tool of some sort. I don't remember what I ordered. I remember a few things, but I didn't look beforehand because I wanted to like open this with you guys because you're my friends. So let's see what this is. Oh yeah, this is a um, a tool to get charms off. Cause oddly enough, I didn't have one. So I got one of these. This is by the brand Pi, P-A-I-E, I think, Beauty Tools. It's just, you can honestly buy these at like Michael's and Hobby Lobby or whatever, but it was there, it was on sale. I needed it. So got that. And it's nice, it's got nice like matte handles so that's cute ow and I got these so I was talking to the owner and she was like I hope you got everything you wanted and I was like I did there was one thing that was out of stock but I'll survive you know and she was like oh I'm adding that to the site tonight and I was like of course so she sent me a link and let me like pay for it on sale and then added it to my order. So that's so nice. So that was one of these. So I got the Lolly Pang Pang. Um, I remember one of them is reflective, pink and clear. I think they're jellies. And then the other one is opal. So reflective glitters and opal glitters. Packaging A plus. Let's see. I'll show you guys more, like I said, in the end, but yeah, this is, yeah, they're jellies. So it's a jelly pink with reflective glitter and then a clear with reflective glitter. And the other one is the same, but with opal glitters. Just cute. You know, I love the packaging. I hope this isn't all blurry. Um, yeah, Korean nail packaging. So cute. Korean anything. They just know how to package stuff over there, you know? It like really reels me in every time. And then I got, I believe this is a gradation brush, but I think I got it for a pigment. 
brush. It's by Blanc Blanc and Nail Diary. Yeah, I believe I got that for pigment. It's a nice brush. I like it. What next? Oh, I got, cool. I love this brand for bits. It gets me the, the brand name every time. You guys should know this by now. I think it's Yogo. I Because you can see, okay, upside down, it looks like oboe, and right side up, it's Yogo. So I'm always like, oboe, Yogo, I don't know. It's Yogo, I'm pretty sure. So this is their mango bit. There's different ones. I think this is the off bit for, like, getting off gel and it feels very very nice I love these bits I have a couple other ones from them and they work so well I think they're cuticle bits the ones that I already have love them oh yeah I got overlay brushes from also from summer peach I guess it comes with one case for one of them Oh no, it's lit. I am. <laughs> They're lids for both of them. I saw this together and thought it was like a full case for some reason. It's a lid for one and a lid for the other. But it's a small oval brush and then a liner brush. So, if you can see, for overlays, which I shall be doing. So, love that. Ooh, this is pretty shocking. Shocking nail glitters or flakes, I should say. So cute. Honestly, like I, they're so cute. I have. It's so easy to make these yourself with like foils or like the iridescent, like not paper, but like the tissue kind of stuff. You know what I mean? You can just chop it up. But it, what a pain when I could just buy one. So I just, I got it. Sue me. All right, I got, oh yeah, this is a, by the brand D-Gel. They're spreading water gel, so it's a blooming gel. I just needed a new one. The blooming gels that I have are really old because I really, I hardly use them. I haven't used them for a while, but I figured I might be using them. So I should grab a new one because the ones that I have, I have had for a very long time. All right, these are by the brand, I think the brand is Make N, and it is their parts, sticking type parts and point overlay. So these are small. <laughs> I was thinking, so these have two different sizes on the site. There's a larger one and a smaller one. I ordered the larger one, I believe. Pretty positive, I ordered the larger one. And this is the larger one. So it's pretty there. I could imagine how small the little ones are. I gotta check. I'm positive I ordered the big ones because why would I? They were on sale. Everything was on sale. So mini too. I must have ordered the smaller ones. I'll have to look because I swear I ordered. Oh, that's not from here. I'll have to look at my order. I'm sure they got it right. I'm sure I ordered the smaller one. I just swear I ordered the large ones. But anyways, <laughs> these are for adhering charms and then going over like the edges and stuff of, of the charms to seal them in. So I figured I would try that. Love trying new stuff for those things. Love trying new stuff, period. I also got from BB Pop the Shawi Disco. It's a neon jelly pink. And I ordered more from this brand from Hey Nails today. <laughs> yeah, there'll be another haul coming because Hey Nails, I posted it on here, actually. I posted it on YouTube and on TikTok that they're having a huge sale right now. It's like 40 to 60% off because they're moving. That's a crazy sale. So I <laughs> jumped on there right away and I ordered like two more of these jellies. So I got... I already have the red one, I believe. This, it looks darker, I think, right now, but it's like a bright jelly pink. I love that. Have you guys been ordering new things lately? I'm sure it's not just me. All right, let's see. We're getting down here. Okay. 
I got the Diami Feel So Good Strong Nail Base and Balancing Clear Gel. This stuff's pretty popular. I have never tried it, so I figured I might as well. It is for, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> um, it is for, obviously it's a base coat, but they recommend it to use with their canoe nails. I mean, obviously you can use it with Gel X. <clears throat> Um, it's a thick base gel is what it sounds like, or a gel you can use for gel X cause it's like thicker and adds volume to the nail. So, and I hear that it's makes your nails last a really long time. So excited to try that. I also got this by Jin B, their flash reflective glitter gel Looks like that. So this is, oh, she is packaged up tight. I, oh goodness gracious, <laughs> she, what was I going to say? I have no idea what I was going to say, but it is a, I believe it's a, a white reflective glitter gel. I could be wrong. It could be, oh my goodness. They really don't want this to spill. Oh my gosh. Working, working, working. Sorry guys. Okay. Let's see. Oh, it's just a silver one. Okay. I think it was, it just looked white in the light, but it is a reflective silver gel. Pretty, pretty. So I actually just threw away, I went through, like when I moved in here, I threw away all my old stuff. So I, I don't have a silver, don't mind my, my crazy hair. I am used to having extensions and obviously I don't have them at the moment. I went in for my hair appointment like almost two weeks ago and she decided that she was gonna order me new hair cause my hair was like getting pretty dry. So she ordered me new hair and it wasn't there yet. <laughs> I was so sad. So I haven't had hair since because I was supposed to go back last Saturday. And she's got, she's pregnant right now. So she was got, she had to go to the hospital. She was, she's okay. But <laughs> she, um, so obviously I couldn't have my appointment. And now I'm going in this Sunday at eight in the morning. <laughs> If I didn't want it really, really bad, I would not be good. That is so early. I am not a morning person. I might be up by then, but I'm not usually out of the house. <laughs> okay, I got this brand again. Yogo. Yeah, it's Yogo. See, I don't know why I don't look at the front of the box. It's on the top of the box. You don't know which way is right. On the front, it actually says Yogo. Yogo Soda Beam. So more of their, their like clear jelly like clays. As you know, if you've been watching me, I love these things. I have their Silky Beam one, which is like a really pretty iridescent one. Their Milk Jam, their Black Jelly one. I did not have this one. Oh, it's not open yet. I will open it when I'm done doing this and show you guys. But this one I think is more like just like a clear with like all different glitters in it. Makes me so happy. So now I have that little set because it was a kind of a set with the Silky Beam one. They're like pictured together and little things. So happy about that. Okay, so last two things I got from Miss Pink Nail. Well, look at this packaging. So these are their, I have their big pot of gel, like I guess they would be considered like pot of gels. They're in like a palette and they get, you get all these syringes with it and you fill up each little thing yourself and it's a palette of all different gels amazing and it's my second one because my first one I brought to school with me when I was in nail school to like show everybody stupid move um I had my that black nail kit box thing by the door back there that's what I had like full of all my nail stuff so I put that in there and I literally like made sure it was sandwiched in between stuff I seat belted her into my back seat so she couldn't fall over well she did fall over 
and it happened to be like Thanksgiving week and I forgot that it was in there so it's laying on its side so it didn't get picked up for like a day and a half when I tell you I cried it was brown I mean there was no saving it it was brown the whole palette so I had to toss it and she's not cheap and he's I forgot to put my phone on do not disturb and somebody tried calling me how rude they should know I never answer my phone anyways but okay back to it so yeah I had to order a new one luckily I got real lucky and it was like in stock got it pretty quick thank you Jesus so this is the same brand they make smaller palettes that you fill up and they're I got two of their jelly ones so I'm excited about that I think I got like a pastel jelly one and a nude color story oh it is really tiny oh it is so cute look at how small it is <laughs> so it is what you do I don't know which way is up here I think it's this way oh it's happening oh the little case fell apart not the actual case the black bread that it's in oh I can't see the colors <laughs> So I'm pretty sure one of these is a nude jelly and the other one is pastel jelly. But I'll record me like filling them up so you guys can see. But they're really cool. You get little syringes and you like fill up the little palette yourself. I know with the big one, you actually get extra. Oh, I have tons of extra because I had extra for my first one and extra from the second one. So those that large palette will last me for the rest of my life <laughs> these I'm not sure but so I'm excited about those I actually when I bought this I didn't know that it came like that I thought they came pre-filled but I saw somebody else one of my friends on Instagram post about it uh, that they had filled theirs up and I was like oh that's cool okay last thing I'm very excited about these because I've been wanting them for a while so they're the Diami white classic gel set and what they are is they're one, two, three, four, five, ten different gel polishes that are all like white base but tinted different colors. So it's like really light purple, really light blue, really light orange, really light pink, you know, yada yada. So, so excited for those. Because I really don't have anything without like having to mix them. I've got a couple from Tracy Nails that I have like a purple and a green that are just like that that are like white based with like a tint of color in it but I don't have any other colors like that so I'd have to like mix them to make them so I'm so excited oh and the boxes are so cute I hope it came with a swatch yeah it didn't okay good that's another thing I love about Korean nail like sets they all come with cute little swatch cards so it came with a little swatch card I think yeah it probably goes this way oh yeah it's like a little actual like hard card and then you put the little things down here so I like taking like I have little gummy bear glass swatchers and stars clouds things like that so I usually put the swatches on them and then stick them on here so cute these boxes are adorable look at the top they're like little pastel dreamy looking things on the top okay this one is it doesn't say I just grabbed grabbed a rabbit a rabbit one a random one and we're just gonna oh these are pretty they're matte white so cute but the only problem is I'm pretty sure it's gonna be real difficult to tell the difference so I'm gonna have to like up on my shelf to pick one I'll probably have to put like a little swatch stick I have like little tiny heart ones so maybe I'll do that I'll put them on here Ooh, wow they're really light I wonder what color this one's supposed to be number three I think is like a really light they might need to be mixed up too they've been sitting I think it's like a really light blue or it it's gonna look white to you there's just no other way around it because <laughs> it almost looks white to me let me grab another one because I swear on the back of this, the th unless this isn't, oh, this is 1048. Yeah, on the back it looks like it might be like a really light brown or gray or something like that. Let's go with, 
Okay, let's do the last one, because that one's like a light pink. I hope you can at least see some color in it. <laughs> They're all white. Yeah, this one's really light pink. They're really cute. I'm sure it's probably going to look white also. I don't know if you can tell. It's a really light pink. So cute. All right, guys. Well, that's it. What's your favorite thing? What are you excited to see? What is my favorite thing? I don't know. I really like these little, the handy charts. I think they're so cute. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with them, but I just think it's such a cute way to organize all your little colors and like handing somebody a little like swatch book. Like oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think that might be my favorite thing. I'm not sure. I really can't pick. These chromes from Celtex Nails, so cute. And then also all the new embossing, the whatchamacallums. <laughs> what are they called? Fine print gels from Function. I am very excited for those from Function of X. You can do so much fun stuff with those old things. So those are basically like if you have the Embo powder that you, like they come in huge tubs. If you have Embo powder and then you mix it with a gel, that's literally like basically what that is. But that's really cool because it's non-wipe, which is always a plus. All right, guys. I'm going to go, I'll show you close-ups of some of these things so you can see them a little bit better. And then, yeah. I'll see you guys later in my next video. Should I say goodbye now or should I say goodbye after I swatch or show things? I don't know. I'll say goodbye both times. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Comment. Say hi. I love when you guys comment. You guys have been commenting more and it makes me so happy. I love talking to you. And you guys are so nice. So sweet. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. I'll see you next week. I love you. Goodbye. Hey guys. All right. We're going to do some swatches slash just showing you a little closer up of some things. I'm not going to swatch everything. I think the main things I'm going to swatch are like the set of, I think it was Diami, the set of like tinted white gels. Those are like the main ones I think I'm going to swatch unless I'm forgetting something. I'm just gonna show you some close-ups of things because they're so cute. So let's start out with South Tex Nails. So this is her white sculpting clay. The packaging is so cute. I love the pink and the green. And I think I opened this. Yeah, I opened it the other day. I think it looks really, really, <laughs> you're over here, sorry. It looks really nice. It reminds me of the Milk Jam by Yogo because it's not like, oh, you know, like the sissy clays, how they're like a literal like nail clay. These look more bouncy, I like to describe them as. <laughs> so it is literally very similar. So I'm excited to play with it because that Milk Jam one is like one of my favorites. I love that it's like bouncy and like not like a white opaque. It's like kind of got, it's not like see-through, but this one might be a little stickier than the Milk Jam one. Just at first touch. The Milk Jam, I feel like I can stick my stuff in it and it just comes right back off when I put it back in there. But I'm excited to play with it because they are more like a, they're not fully opaque. They're just kind of, I don't know, they're really cute. So love that. And it's a big container. Like she is big, so, so cute. And then I also got these from her, if you remember. So I'm just gonna take them out and show you a little bit closer up. I'm really excited for these two, I love chrome. And I don't think I have any chrome palettes. I don't know why I keep trying to put you over here. You're over here. So this is Retro Wave. So pretty. That silver looks so good. Same with this pink. I'm not a huge gold person, but look at how pretty. 
I gotta try to not take forever. I don't, you guys probably don't wanna be sitting here all day long, I'm sorry. Maybe you do, I don't know. <laughs> I like longer videos myself. I feel like nobody ever wants to make long videos. That's pretty much what I make. Okay, this one is Miami. This one's my favorite. Look at her. Ugh. So there's a silver in both of them. I think those pinks might be the same. Are they the same? Yes. Looks like it. So it looks like the pinks are in each palette and the silvers are in each palette. So you get like these two are different and then the blue and the like purpley color from this one are different. Kinda wish she would have done completely different colors in both palettes and I could be wrong but even just by my naked eye right now they look very very similar but I'm real excited for that purple color and that blue looks really pretty too. But. And they're so cute. Look how small they are. They're adorable. I love them. Love them, love them. I love having like little palettes like this that I can stack up. You know, that light, I'm sorry, is it driving you nuts? Because it's driving me nuts. Let me see if I can like maneuver things here. Bear with me, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see, maybe that's better. There we go, that's better. Okay, well, a little bit. <laughs> All right, let's move along here. So also from her, I had gotten her squeezy, like the 3D gel glue. We don't need to have a close up of that, but I did get that from her, which I already have one that was a re-up because all her stuff was on sale, so I figured why not? I love that stuff for 3D work. So now a function of X. I got all of these. So we will open them and see what the colors look like. I'm very excited. So these are their fine print gels. They are like a embossing gel. They're 3D gels. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say that? I have their white and the black one already, like I said, and I, they're so cool. They're also non-wipe. I also, I showed you guys the, their pigment brush that I got, so we don't need to show that again, but they're so cool. I love them. They're non-wipe, so you can also go over them with chrome really easily. This is what I hate about trying to look at all of these, because I'm going to have to do this to all of these, but... We want to see what they look like. Okay, this color is Skater Girl. They have so many colors. Oh no, I cut the, dang it, I cut the container. So that's Skater Girl. Love it. It's like a corally pink. But yeah, they have tons of colors. Let's do all like the pinks, orange colors first. So this is Clueless. Try to not cut the container again this time. I wish they would have when they're containers like this. I think I just did it again. I wish they would have like a little tab that you could pull to take these off because they're, it's so annoying, I hate. I know they have to put them on here. It's just so annoying to get off. Oh, I love this color. Oh, that was satisfying. The whole thing came off. So this is Clueless. This will probably be my favorite. I'm saying it now. So they are, as you can tell, they're very thick. Like, they're real thick. They're not moving around. So you can take like a little brush or a big brush, whatever you want to do. And like I've seen people do like, like embossing around the edges of the nail, like little swirls and stuff. You can use them for 3D work. Oh, they are for 3D work, but I mean, you can use them for like, you know, little hearts, like whatever. So it's such a good idea. The black and the white one was such a good idea and to have mainly for chrome, you know, um, but to have all these fun colors, I'm so excited to play with them. You have to think of what I want to make. 
but they have more colors than this even. I didn't get all of them. I just got the ones that looked cutest to me, but now, oh dang it. Now I feel like I'm gonna need the whole collection. <laughs> All right, this one is Fanny Pack. It's like a bright orange. It looks brighter on camera. It's like, I guess it, I wouldn't consider it a bright orange. It's like a, not a past, in between like an orange and a pastel orange. It's kind of like a muted orange. It looks way brighter on screen, but I love that color. I've been liking orange lately, which is so weird because Never in my life have I liked orange. Yeah, this video is going to be a little like back and forth because I know I just recorded the beginning of it and my hair is long and then the whole video, my hair is short. <laughs> Finally got my hair done. Okay, this is brulee. This is like a true pastel, very light orange. Very cute. It's almost got like a little bit of a pink tint in person. Like a touch, a touch of pink. Let's do this purple. Dear Diary, I hope you guys are wanting to see all of these. I assume that you do. I do. So, so many of you have voted yes. All of you that have voted have voted yes on me doing that cool 3D like airbrushy set that I showed you in a picture. Oh, this purple. Okay, this and Clueless are my two favorites so far. That is really pretty. Oh, the things you can do with this for like spring and summer nails. <laughs> okay, this one I think I'm excited for too. Cassette. Looks like a turquoise. But yeah, I just got my hair done yesterday. Finally. Oh yeah, she is pretty. Love that color. They're so fun. Nails, I think, are fun. You know, like, I understand some people just want, like, taupe or cream nails, but I do not. Okay, this is Blueberry Gallet? Galette? I'm not sure, but. I'm excited. So pretty. I think they had like a pastel collection and then like the more brighter colored collection. So I got some from each. So this is definitely like a more muted blueberry. But yeah, my hair is even longer than it was. All right, sorry guys. My phone rang. <laughs> my mom. I forgot to turn my phone on do not disturb so my bad so this is crepe <laughs> I want to call it creep but I'm pretty sure it's crepe <laughs> but yeah I had a hair appointment like two weeks ago she ordered me new extensions they weren't there yet so I've had like two weeks without hair <laughs> finally got it back and I think it's like a couple inches longer so I'm trying to get used to it. Okay, this is cute. Pastel yellow. I keep cutting off the little edges of this when I'm trying to take the top of it off. This is matcha cream. But yeah, I am going to record, I think I'll record that video next, the, the set that I posted in my community section or whatever it is <laughs> where I put the picture and asked if you guys wanted to see it. That set. Ooh, I love this. Like this and like one of the oranges together, that pink I think would be so cute. If I can possibly record for, whoops, record two videos this week, then I will try, but it is, kind of hard. I've been so busy. I just for sure at least want to record one YouTube video a week. I do try to post on TikTok every day, but it's just not the same. I know. Okay, this is Yo-Yo, the last one. Love this green. It is like AP green. 
I love it. This with like this pink. Oh my lord, I'm obsessed with that. Look at those together. I love pink and green together. Oh, that is so cute. I gotta use those together. All right, so that's all for those. Now we're gonna bust out the big, big mama. The Luna Beauty package with this. I'm not gonna open this, but I just wanna tell you that I was right. They accidentally sent me the mini and I did order the full size. So I got a hold of her and she was gonna send me the big ones. And then also, <laughs> This one's really weird, and this one is totally not their fault. This is this company's fault. Diami. So I ordered both of these. This one I opened. So they come with, I'll show you this one first. They are, this one is the opal one, I believe. And it comes with two. And it comes with a, a clear with like, opal glitters in it. It's so cute. Oh, the brush is kind of wonky, but really pretty. And then it also comes with a pink jelly with opal glitters in it. Really cute. It's real glittery. So I then opened the other one to look at it which I'm glad I did before I messaged her because we have a little situation. So these ones are reflective. So you get a jelly pink and a clear with reflective glitters in it. So they're finer glitter particles and it's like that really, that when you have a flash, you know, it's like really refle reflective. Well, you're supposed to have a clear and a pink and I have two pinks. <laughs> So she is just waiting for Diami to get back a hold of her. Then she's going to send me a new set of these <laughs> and then the full size of these guys. So funny. This is totally not her fault. The company accidentally put two pinks in here. Somebody probably got one with two clears. So <laughs> whoopsies. But everything else is great. <laughs> They're literally like my favorite place to shop for. And she handled it like she got back a hold of me right away and she's taking care of it so I just want to show you this bit up close this is the yogo off bit so it's used for taking off like gel builder gel hard gel it's really gritty it's got some chunk of teeth on it I think it's gonna be really nice I have a couple of their mango bits and I really 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 like them I have like I think I have two of their cuticle bits and they're so good so good and I just want to show you guys these brushes real quick up close these are their the summer peach overlay brushes and they each come with a little cap so you get this one And then a little liner brush for like going around the edges. Did I need these? Probably not, but I think they're really cute. <laughs> and honestly, I really like trying out new overlay brushes because I strictly do gel. So if somebody wants an extension, I'll do Gel X. If they want like an overlay, then I would be using an overlay brush, obviously. Duh, Tamara, goodness gracious, you guys. I don't know how you put up with me. Okay, this, I guess the brand is Chalkin Nail. So it is so cute. These little flakes, I love, ooh, got it on my hand. I love little flakes like this. I don't really want to open it because it's going to poof everywhere, but it's that like really shifty, like where it looks like nothing or maybe a little yellow, but yeah, then it's like bright blue. It reminds me of that lemon head glitter that like everybody's obsessed with that they use in Euphoria. I have that and it is really pretty, <laughs> but it reminds me of that. So I, I had to have it and I am glad 
But I got it. Love it. And then, and then, and then, and then, let's open this baby. Another one of my favorite products ever. This brand, I'm just, they make such good stuff. I need to like not get this glitter all over. I love things like this, as you guys probably already know. So this is the Yogo Soda Beam 3D clay, but again, it's not like a clay clay. It's like a, oops, it's like clear and bouncy. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty. This one is full of glitters. They're just so fun to play with. Like, you can make little charms with these. You can do whatever you want. Obviously. <laughs> no rules, baby. You can do whatever. So pretty. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's just straight, clear, like bouncy clay We're packed with glitter. Love that and it goes so good with the, what's the other one called? Silky Beam that I used in one of my last videos, I believe. Yeah, I used it in, I used it to make one of those 3D flowers in my 3D puffy flower set. So this one goes really good. With that one, I'm so excited to add it to my little collection. I got this Flash Reflective Glitter Gel by Jin B. It is a silver, a lot of people probably already have something like this, and I did, but like I said, I went through like all my, all my gels and everything when I moved into my studio and got rid of old ones, and I didn't have a, a newer reflective silver like this so I needed it it's really really pretty you can tell it's going to be very flashy have you guys bought stuff from Luna Beauty before I love it they always have like all the new it sucks because they're they always have all the newest stuff that's what I was gonna say I need to stop interrupting myself <laughs> They are in Australia, so it does take a little while, but I think it's worth it. All right, this is BB Pop Shall We Disco. It's a bright jelly pink. Actually looks a little bit darker than I thought, but I think it'll look brighter when it's on. Let's just see. Yeah, woof. Yeah, it's pretty. It looks a little darker on screen. And it's got definitely more pigment than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like really jelly, but it's definitely got a little bit more pigment. Like I think if you did two coats, it wouldn't be see-through. So you would definitely just wanna keep this as a one, a one coat gel if you want it to actually be, be jelly. So, should we do swatches of these first, or should we fill up the little Miss Pink Nail palettes? Oh, let's swatch these first. <laughs> Let me grab my little light so I can cure the swatches. So I've got these little clouds, they're glass, and I'm going to use these to swatch these. <laughs> and it came with a little card to display the swatches on, so I'll just stick them on there. Um, B or B. I'm gonna grab a stand so I can put these little swatches on it. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so I grabbed all my little stands so I could stick the little clouds on it. And then I got the little swatch card ready. The only thing that I was thinking is there isn't like any labeling on here to say like what color is what and they're all so similar so when I'm swatching them I'm gonna have to line up the bottles like up where you can't see right up here and 
maybe make like a key on the back of which is which because otherwise <laughs> I think they're very very similar to be honest I only opened the two that I showed you guys when I was unboxing but we shall see the box is so cute <laughs> you can see it better here than you could when I was unboxing everything but it's just so cute I'll show you so yeah they're all very very similar from what I've seen and I think the numbers are on the bottom no they're on the I don't know what they're like on there's a number on the bottoms of the bottles but the actual numbers on the back so this is 1041 so this should be like a light peachy color you know what now that I'm seeing this right here the caps show it looked so washed out when I was opening them the other day I must have been like the room must have been really bright because I couldn't even in person I couldn't even tell that the cap was a different color <laughs> it just looked like a solid white bottle so thank you Jesus that's like that because oh yeah they look a little bit it must have just been really bright in here the other day when I was opening the box Ooh, these are nice you guys Oh, these are real nice. They are so smooth. Oh, I'm excited. It's, they're just kind of different, I feel like. Like, we all have white. We all have, like, off-white. But th to have, like, a whole collection of tinted whites, I just think is so cool, especially for spring. Oh, these are nice. Look at how that just leveled out. <laughs> That's crazy. That is. These are so nice. Oh, I'm excited. So excited. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna make sure I line these up so I remember which is which on here. I guess it really doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna be able to tell the difference now that I'm seeing them closer up. <laughs> so this one is 1041, so it looks more just like a creamy color, maybe a yellowy based. I should probably make sure I'm mixing them up a little bit you guys I feel like this video is gonna be like a year long I hope you're ready and I hope you like it <laughs> all right I'm excited I think these are really nice quality gels oh I love Korean nail stuff I love Korean beauty stuff period they I will say it again I've said it a million times they know what they're doing over there. Down to the freaking packaging. Everything is so cute and it works so good. Look at that. It just levels out all on its own in a second. Oh, so cute. So cute. I'll stick them all on at the end. I'm excited to fill up the Miss Pink Nail little palette. Okay, this one looks like a minty. Ugh, I can't think of another polish brand that would be more perfect for spring. Now my phone's dying. You guys, I'm gonna lose it. I just want to hurry up. I wanted to do this without having to do like a voiceover and just them talking, you know, during this, if you can't tell. <laughs> and I could plug my phone in to charge it because my light right here has a, a plug in it, but I have my mic plugged into that spot right now. So ugh, I'll try to hurry. <laughs> Ooh, another green. Oh, look at that. It's cr I might, and I don't know if you guys would be mad at me if I did this. <laughs> I'm thinking, especially since my phone's dying, 
if I don't have enough time. Would you guys be mad at me if I did the Miss Pink Nail ones on TikTok? I don't know. I don't know. I hope I have time. I hope my phone doesn't give out on me. Looks like a blue. What do you guys think of these? Are they worth it or are you like, there's no point in that? I'll just mix my other gel polishes with white. I think they're cool. <laughs> and the quality of them is worth it, period. I think these are some of the nicest gel polishes I've ever used, to be honest. And if you can see my wall up here, I've got about a thousand of them, so... <laughs> Sorry if you can hear all this beeping, my light. I'm going as fast as I can. A lavender. I am so happy that these are more tinted than I thought the other day. I thought that they were all going to look white. <laughs> That's what it looked like the other day in here, and I was like, hmm, maybe this was a waste of money. But nope, I am happy. It's probably harder for you guys to see, though. They are very light, but I think when you put them next to each other, we'll hopefully be able to tell the difference. They are real light. I will say that, but I think they're kind of a cool thing to have. This one is, this one, some of them are kind of hard to tell. This is more like maybe a gray light blue. I guess like if you did, if you use these as like a French color instead of a white, I think that would probably look really cool. Just something a little different, you know? I just feel like maybe... Because, like, this one has, like, a... I don't know. Like, some of these I really don't know. Like, on the box, it shows... I think we're getting to, like, right here. So maybe they're, like, a light brown, a warmer light brown, and then a pink. It's just honestly kind of hard to tell. Like, this doesn't look brown to me at all. It looks like a muted, like, sage color, maybe? I don't know. I think the collection, maybe, it could have... If anything, it, it could have just been a little smaller. We probably didn't need all of these colors. Like, maybe a pink, a blue, a green, a purple, a yellow, and a peach. Something like that. I don't know. Did I just... <gasps> I think I didn't put this in there. <laughs> Pay attention! Alright, two more. I think this one looks like a peachy color too, or like maybe just like an off-white, like a darker creamy color. I just think they add a little something extra when everybody does like a light French. You could do like a very light pink or blue or green or yellow or <laughs> whatever French. <laughs> I just like things that are a little bit different. All right, last one. So this one should be like a really light pink. Ooh, yeah. God, I wish you guys could try them right now because just going like this, they're so smooth. I've never used anything so smooth. Like, I've tried so many different gel polish brands. I am impressed. They just, they paint themselves. Like, look at that. <laughs> so good. All right. Let's get these all stuck on here. This 
So what do you guys got going on this week? Anything exciting? I am like desperately trying to get myself to hurry up and get my prices set and my booking site set up. I should have grabbed my little wax stick to do this. Probably be a little easier, but oh well. Because it would be nice to start taking clients. I'm nervous about it, but my plan is to just go slow. I don't need to start taking like three clients a day or something crazy like that. That is not not my plan. I'd like to take like a few clients a week for now so I can keep focusing on like YouTube videos, my website, because I've been getting orders for that, obviously, so I want to be able to still have time for all that stuff, too, and not feel, like, super stressed out about everything. So hopefully that works out for me. <laughs> I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. These are just so cute. I'm happy with them. I don't necessarily think they're like a necessity or something, but if you can afford it and you want something a little different that you can use instead of just your regular old white, I think they're awesome. Obviously, if you don't want to spend the money on it, take some white gel polish and mix a little touch of whatever color you want to make a lighter version of and you can make your own but I really like them and also the like I said the quality of these bomb these I'm not kidding you guys are probably the nicest gel polishes I've ever used I am like shocked at how smooth and self leveling they are it was wild they just went right on Obviously, I'm using them on glass right now and not a nail, but I don't know why it would be different. I mean, I've swatched so many. These are... So <laughs> Look at how cute this is, for one. But for two, you can see the difference on here a little bit better with them all next to each other. They're really cute, you guys. I love them. Ah! Okay, let me set up the... Um, the Miss Me palettes real quick so we can squeeze some stuff in them and then I'll go. Okay, hold on. Alright, we're going to try to do this fast so we can get through it. I got two of these. One of them is a jelly nude and one of them is jelly, like, either jelly pastels or jelly brights. I cannot remember. <laughs> so, if we can't get through both of them, I will just do this one and you'll at least see what they look like and how you fill them and everything. And then I'll do the other one on TikTok. So go watch my TikTok if... So it comes with this little... Thing. You put it in here. It's just like the big palettes if any of you guys have had that one and you just Oh, this is the okay bright colors So this is like a jelly blue and you don't want to like fill it all the way to the top You want to leave a little in here and then you have extra because otherwise they tend to spill. I probably even filled that one a little bit too full. Yeah, so these are bright colors. So cute. I just wanted to have like, I love jellies. And for one, I was looking for some nude jellies to use as like shading colors. And then I saw both sets of these and I was like, oh, that's cute. So this is a lighter blue. I think that first one is actually a purple. Yeah, this one's blue and that one's purple. And what's cool about these is since you don't use the entire thing, you have extra. So when you think you're out in your little palette, you're really not. You got more. I've got, since I had to replace my first big art palette of theirs because I spilled it, like I said, <laughs> um, I have extras from both palettes, so... So satisfying. Ooh, jelly teal. 
I know they look kind of dark for you on here. They are pretty dark looking. I think these are going to be really fun. Do you guys like jellies? They're like some of my favorite things because I love doing encapsulated nails and like different colored jelly encapsulated nails are just so cute to me. Ooh, this green is so pretty. This palette is so cute. It's so tiny. Ah! Adorable. And they always leave... Ooh. There's always a little, a couple extra little cubes in here if you want to put some of your own colors in with it. Oh no! Let me get that all over. Have you guys seen these? Okay, they're adorable. I want to clean that up real quick. I'm going to put little stickers on the outside of it. I think this is orange. Ah, I hate, like, Morse always squeezes out. I don't want to waste it. Ah! Okay. Get in there. If my phone dies, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> so close. We've got two more. Yeah, they, I don't know why they give you, I wish they would actually just give you enough to fill up the whole thing. I really do. Oh, I got jelly on myself. Jelly. Gel. <laughs> So this one must be like a pink. Or like a, I think it's pink. Or it's like a brighter purple. Oop, I think this is red. Yep. Yeah, I think this is more of like a primary color jelly palette. My phone's telling me it's dying again. Phone just told me I'm at 10%. Guys, we're cutting it close! <laughs> so I do not have time to do the second one. I will do the nude one on TikTok. So go follow me there. I post there like every day. Look at how cute it is. <gasps> so satisfying. It would be more satisfying to me if they gave you all the colors. But what are you going to do? I don't know. I might put some of my own jellies in here. I might just leave it. I don't know. Because these are like thicker. It's not like your regular bottled gel jelly. <laughs> but they're so pretty. Oh, I love it. I need to get out some stickers and decorate the little box. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was long, but... There's a lot of stuff, okay? So, I'm sorry. Not sorry. <laughs> I hope you loved it. My next video, I believe, will be that cool 3D airbrushy set that I showed on my community page. If you haven't seen it, go look. Everybody's been saying yes, do it. So I'm gonna listen. I've started a list of things that you guys have been wanting me to do in the comments, so please leave me comments. I love talking to you guys and meeting you. It makes me so happy. You guys are so nice, so nice. I keep reading the comments that you guys leave me and I'm like, YouTube is another world. Like you guys are all so nice. It is amazing. I'm so happy that you guys are all here. I hope that you like and subscribe and want to see more from me. It would make me so happy. All right, guys, I got to go before my phone decides to kick me off. All right. I love you and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. <laughs>